I am so obsessed with my setup right now. Like, do you guys see my mirror? That was my birthday gift from my parents. My mom, my dad actually made it, but my mom got all the stuff for him to make it, and it was my birthday gift, and I love it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be doing a get ready with me video. I got a request to do more get ready with me videos. You guys seem to like these. I love get ready with me videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do one today. I want to create this really simple, easy fall look. I also want to use the um, Maybelline by uh, Makeup Shayla. <laughs> Maybelline by Makeup Shayla palette. You guys know how I feel about Shayla. I absolutely love her. So we're going to be doing that today. We're going to be using that on the eyes and we're going to be doing a pretty much fall look. So yeah. Um, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, <laughs> then I just keep watching. All right. My face is pretty much already moisturized, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in with my primer. I'm going to use the NYX Angel Veil. I have absolutely been loving this. I've tried it out a couple times. I really only had it for like a week or two. I don't remember how long I had it, but I, I have been using it and I really, really like it. I think it's going to be a really great addition to the fall. Because if you guys don't know, I do have combo skins. At least it has been good for my oily areas. Right, so moving on to brows, I'm going to go ahead and speed up and do my brows just because you guys have seen me do this a million times. And if you want an updated version on on how I do my brows I will link my most recent one in the description box below but it's pretty much the same thing I'm just gonna be using the Anastasia brow wiz and I'm gonna go ahead and conceal them with my LA girl pro conceal so I'm gonna add a little bit of the same concealer to my eyelids I pretty much do this because it kind of just makes my eyeshadow pop a little bit more than it would if I just had on just a primer. So and for eyeshadow primer today, I'm going to be using this one from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I haven't used this in a while, so I just decided to go ahead and pick it up and, you know, use it. I'm going to take the RCMA's um, No Color Powder, and I'm going to use this to set my eyes. You guys probably have seen me do this a lot. In my like recent makeup tutorials just because I like to use a setting powder to set my eyelids because I have like like my primer and everything will start creasing and it just makes the eye look go completely wrong so now I'm gonna finally jump into the Shayla palette now if you guys don't know Shayla did a collab with Maybelline it's still in stores now but I believe the collab was about two months ago I want to say it was about two months ago so it's not like the most recent one but I got my hands on it I want to try it so here we go I'm gonna take this reddish brown shade here and I'm gonna use that as my transition crease color I might have went in with too much right here so I'm just gonna take whatever's left and just blend it but it's cool like these they do blend very well so no issues there this black shade here I'm gonna go in with this and I'm gonna just take a little bit on this brush here from Sonia Keshik it's kind of like a round blending brush so it's really easy to get in the outer V and don't worry we're gonna blend it because I know it looks a little harsh right now very very easy to blend I love them I'm loving these so far. I want to go back in with a little bit more of that brown shade that I used in my crease. Just a really, really teeny bit and just blend the crease. And just blend it out. And you want to be careful because you don't want to get too smoky. So just take just a little bit and just blend it. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my crease with a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of that black and just blend it. Just a little bit more. It's kind of bronzy, golden looking shade. I'm going to try it dry first and then wet it to see if I need to. But it's looking like I'm not going to need to wet it because it's super pigmented. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this cream shade here on top and apply that to my brow bone. 
I really honestly didn't have much fallout so I'm not going to worry about cleaning up anything because like I said I really didn't have any fallout from this looks for some reason I don't know why but my camera was not recording I'm pretty sure I pressed record but whatever <laughs> the only thing that I did when my camera wasn't recording and I was just talking to guys I'm so slow I added the Fendi Beauty foundation all over my face I'm so slow so, I love that foundation. I have the review link below if you guys are interested in checking that out. And then, while I was in the process of blending out my concealer, which is what I have going on right now, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I applied this. I love this concealer also, but you do want to be careful when applying it because it can get a little overboard and you can't apply too much. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish blending. Okay, and before I set that, I do want a cream contour today. Meme gave me this Fashion Fair Cream to Powder um, foundation, but it was too dark for her. But it wasn't dark enough for her to contour with, so she gave it to me for me to contour with. It's in the shade Espresso Cap. Set my concealer. I'm going to go in with this Maybelline fit me powder in the shade medium deep i could have sworn that i well i was supposed to talk about this in my last favorites video and i have no idea why i didn't but i was supposed to <laughs> i love this powder i've been using like literally this has been the only loose powder that i've been using lately and i just love it I'm going to dust that off. I really, really like to use this Rare Technique, um, what is this called? Contour brush to dust off my powder all over my face. And to kind of bronze up my skin, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to use this bronzy shade here in the shade Sombre. Is that how you pronounce it? Sombre. <laughs> I'm going to use this Tarte Blush in the shade Parte or Parte. 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 <laughs> Um, but this is the one that comes in the little Tarte birthday set thingy that you get from Sephora. I, you guys know my birthday was like October 15th, which was like two Sundays ago, I think. <laughs> yeah, like two Sundays ago. So, um, I went to Sephora around my birthday and I got this. So, yeah, I'm gonna try it out today. Hopefully it's not too ashy. Ooh, no, it's pretty actually. Mm -mm. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it has a really nice pink to it, if you guys can see that. Hopefully it's showing up on... Oh, I think I put too much on it. Oops. Kind of went overboard. <laughs> you guys know I like nice, subtle pink blushes, so this is actually really nice. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera how nice it is, but... Yeah, let me put my earrings back in because I look crusty. I took them. Are you guys like me? You have to take out your earrings when you blend out your foundation because they just get all over the place. And then for highlight, I'm going to just stick with Maybelline and use the Master Chrome one because I love this one and I'm always picking it up using it. So why not use it for this video as well? I swear I'm going to use another highlighter in my next video. I promise you guys I am. First, blend everything in with my stippling brush. Take away any harsh lines. And if all out. And just blend it into my skin. Back to the eyes. Back to the eyes we go. I'm going to add a eyeliner. This is from Lancome. This is the Drama Liquid Pencil Extreme Longwear Eyeliner in the shade New York Intense. And then I'm going to back in with the Shayla palette and go in with the black a little bit and smoke out this black but not too intense because I don't want to look like I got a, you know, 
a black eye. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this reddish brown here and apply that under there just to kind of blend it out. I'm going to stay away from false lashes today. I know this look will be bomb with some false lashes, but I'm honestly out of lash glue, which sucks. And I never think about it when I go to the store. I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm out of lash glue right now. And plus, I just need to re-up on my lashes. Like, I do. My lash game is weak right now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lash primer, which is from L'Oreal. I love this stuff. Again, I forgot to talk about it in my favorites video. Don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but I'm going to use this. And then for the mascara, I'm just going to use this one from L'Oreal. This is the Luminous Lash Paradise Mascara. If you're someone like me who doesn't wear lashes on an everyday basis, but you want your lashes to look really good, definitely invest in this primer. It's really only like $5 from Walmart. So it's not bad at all. And it's really, really good. And plus, on top of that, I noticed that since I've been using them, my lashes have looked so long and if you're even if you're somebody who do wear lashes on a daily basis but you want your bottom lashes to just pop that would definitely help it as well so i highly suggest this primer because it's bomb like really bomb with this lighter gold shade here in the palette beside this purple here just a little bit on my brow bone just to add a little bit of a glow it didn't really do much of anything because of the brush I was using but it had a little of something, something to it. <laughs> I'm going to be using Bite Beauty products today on my lips. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know like a few weeks ago I think, <laughs> I got a package from Bite and they sent me a few of their lipsticks and one of the shades I have been dying to try out and it's in the shade Licorice which is just like a really pretty burgundy shade. So, they pretty much sent like burgundy reds, nudes, and stuff like that. So, I've been dying to try that out. And you probably remember a while back, they sent the lip liner. And this one is in the shade number 42. Don't ask what happened to it because I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> it broke up here. And I don't know what happened to it. And I lost the top. And I don't know. So, I'm going to line my lips with this lip liner from Bite Beauty. And it's in the shade number 44. It's the Amuse Bolche Lipstick. I know I butchered that. <laughs> In the shade Licorice. Mm. Tastes like candy. Mm. Mm. This, is it? What is that? Look, I'm going to go in with Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus and spray my face. Alright guys, and that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Turn on your notification if you haven't done so already. It pretty much just notifies you when I upload videos. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.